Today's reading comes from Thursday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. It's also the feast of Padre Pio, a saint that perhaps is familiar to many of you. A recent saint, someone who lived in Italy, was famed for the good work that he did founding a hospital to look after those who had no medical care, uh, but also for his stigmata as a Capuchin. He was uh, certainly within that Franciscan tradition and St. Francis, Francis's own stigmata probably played an important role within his own spirituality. Our reading today comes from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, say, says Kohelet. Vanity of vanities. All things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils at under the sun? One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down. Then it presses on to the place where it rises, blowing now toward the south, then toward the north. The wind turns again and again, resuming its round. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored. There is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been, that will be. What has not been done, that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, see, this is new, has already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of the men of old, nor of those to come will there be any remembrance among those who come after them. My friends, the word of the Lord. The book of Ecclesiastes was written at a time after the Jewish people returned to the Holy Land from exile, but they were still under the domination of the Persians. During that time, there was a vast literature that evolved that was trying to discover what is the wise way of living in the world, a world that was very uncertain, a world where one day things seemed to go well, and the next day things turned dramatically against them. When the author of our text today speaks of vanity, he's speaking, in fact, about the way in which the world is very, very much like a shadow, an illusion, smoke, or mist. We chase after so many illusions in our lifetime hoping to find happiness, hoping to find satisfaction for uh, what our deepest needs are. And yet we are discouraged, disappointed, time and time again. We hear in our text today, the eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. For the Jewish imagination, time was not a line, it was a circle nothing ever really changed, that their experience and perhaps the experience of many wise men over the time of history have seen that life in many ways is a repetition. And at the end of the game, what have we won? As Jesus tells us in one of his parables, what does a man gain if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? The message of the book of Ecclesiastes is the only thing that we can place our feet upon that will be steady is the Lord. It's in that relationship with our Lord that we find permanence, that we find value, that we find meaning. And so as we continue this week hearing from the book of Ecclesiastes, let us remember it is not meant to discourage us or disappoint us. It's not a book of cynical reflection but rather an encouragement to look for what really matters, to look for where we really find value, 
and to recognize that much of the world that we look at today is as our author describes it, merely vanity of vanities.